Okay, so it's been over 14 days since we made this stuff. Um, still foaming quite a bit, but I don't know. I just want to get it into a carboy and out of this bad boy. So I'm going to rack it into a carboy and get this hobo wine going to the next stage. Okay, so I took the specific gravity. It's like 1.040, so it's still probably a little high, but I want to get it out of this bucket and get things moving. So let's get it going. still tastes pretty damn sweet. That's kind of a problem. But Let's get it out of this bucket and see what we can get going on in here. Enter the hobo wine. Almost tempted to maybe put some more yeast nutrient in here, maybe. It's supposed to be the clearing stage, though, so. Huh, it's hard to say what I should do. I'm kind of concerned that it still tastes so damn sweet. But there's still activity going on in there. Let's just get it in here, put an airlock on and call it done. Then we'll go from there. Okay, so here it is. Only time will tell. Racked into the carboy. I actually added some yeast nutrient in there. Uh, usually you're supposed to top this up and get less air, but I'm basically still classifying this as uh, primary fermentation. I just wanted to get it out of that uh, bucket. Maybe there was too much sugar in it, and maybe if it all settled to the bottom, I can just get rid of it and hopefully get this thing stabilized. So here we go. I'll watch it over the next week or whatever. I'll take a few hydrometer readings and see what the SGs sit in that, and hopefully we can get rid of the sweetness that's in there because it's really sweet still. Come on. There we go. All right, I'll check back in a couple days and see how it's going. Unless something interesting happens, then I'll film some more. Check it out. It's alive. This is probably about six hours later. You can see it's typhooning in there. Airlock's going. Oh, well, I wouldn't say crazy, but it's definitely, it's going. Look at that. There's a freaking typhoon in there. Looks like we got some fermentation acting up again. Excellent. The hobo wine, everyone. All right, so bottling day has finally happened for the hobo wine. I transferred it all out of there, the carboy, into the bottling bucket. Got my little bottling wand there. Got all my sterilized wine. I've already corked two, but some sterilized corks. But here we go. Take a bottle, put it right in there like that up. I feel right till it reaches the top because the wand is the exact amount of dimension uh, that you need to displace the wine so a cork will fit right in there. So just bring it up so ever so slowly. Draw it back a couple times because sometimes these ends get stuck and then you overflow all over the place. Oh, there we go. So we go like that. 
we stick it inside our cooking machine. Put it down. Add cork. Stick it in there. And then you cram it down. And there you go. You got yourself your own homemade hobo wine. Look at the clarity of this. Beautiful. So I guess the next video I take it'll be uh, the tasting of this stuff. But as for now, the hobo wine needs to be bottled. All right, cheers, there, people. There's all the hobo wine, all bottled. Thirty bottles. Booyah.